Okay, I forgot to look at all the buttons. I probably should have looked at that first. You've got to move it down, Pat. Now let's talk about the surge points. Surge points are glowing spots you'll see on the sea and outdoor areas and dungeons. By examining them, you can discover the current of currency of Sivart Alfheim Yuld or items. Hey Kirito, look, there's a search point right over there. Wait, does it will it show me after you approach the search point, you can examine by pressing circle. Why not give it a try? Okay, does it show me the Damn it. Okay. I guess we're doing this. You gotta look at him. I'm a dummy. You found Yold. You can find both Yold and items for enhancing your weapons, crafting materials from search points. Search points can be found in on both the ground and in the sky. Make sure you examine any you find. Okay then, next on our list to, of things to practice are floating floating mode and when you went to get off the ground and into the air, press the D-pad switch your current your current movement mode. Okay, it didn't give me a direction, so I guess I'll just press any button. There are two different modes of aerial movement. Floating mode lets you hover. Flight mode lets you soar like a bird. Come on, big brother. Let's try floating. To start, you will need to activate floating mode. Activate floating mode by pressing either left or right and hold X to ascend or press X to descend. Aw oh, man, it's gonna be different. First, try going as high as you can. Okay. okay. If you attempt to go any higher, you will hit the area's altitude limit. In Savar, each area has its own altitude limit. If you try to go beyond that altitude limit, floating or flight mode will be cancelled and you will fall. Be careful. Let's practice a little more. Please float back to the ground. You can descend by pressing X twice. It can be pretty scary, but you can press down to switch to talk to walk to talking mode. Yes, there is a talking mode. Obviously, because why not? To walking mode and free walk up back down to the ground. Okay. Okay. That should be everything for the floating mode. Our next lesson is to practice flight mode. Press up to switch to flight mode. In flight mode, you will be automatically fly forward. Use the left stick to free control your movement in the air. You can also increase your speed by dashing and even enter a aerial di drive, which lets you fly even faster. <laughs> you were a total noob when we f when you first started fly flying Kirito, but you've gotten the hang of it pretty quickly. I agree, Daddy. It's amazing. Let's practice fly to the glowing point while he fight mode. Okay. Okay.
You look so cool when you're flying, Daddy. Keep in mind that both dashing and aerial drives use up your stamina points when you are fly in flight mode. However, it can be very useful when you want to close in on a pesky enemy in a hurry. You should be an expert in flying. What's next, Yuri? Battle. Let's start with the basics to make sure you sure we don't forget anything. There are two types of attacks. Use a weak attack by pressing square. Use a strong attack by pressing triangle. Okay. I'm pretty sure I got this. Oh, I just, I just fucked it up. I already fucked it up, so. Oh. Oh, cool. Awesome. Hey, great job. Oh no, more enemies spawned. I fight the floor with these two. These two look like stronger than the others. You can dodge and guard to deal with any attacks. Okay, this is what my brother missed. He didn't know how to guard. Alright. Alright. Do you remember the do how to dodge, guard, and perform? Recovery. The timing to dodge an attack or to press R1 to guard seems like it might be a bit hard to get down. It can be, but it's worth the effort to master. Now let's us continue practicing by learning how to lock on feature. Okay. Fantastic. Alright, that's the stuff. Enemy down. And look what we have here. It even drops the Bjorg. I'm not too much into that talking. Phew, looks like we've cleared this place. <laughs> How is it? Like the feel of the new areas. Yeah, they're really fun. I thought you said that. And I happen to agree. I'm looking forward to playing through the rest of it. Now that we finish stretching out our legs, how about we visit the nearest town? I could use a break. It's... Is there a teleport gate around here? Daddy, is there... This is the perfect time to use your marker. Right. My marker. Marker? Marker? Did I have one of those? <laughs> it is in the manuals for everyone received when they implemented Savart Alhab. Did you read it? Sorry, Yuri. I must have missed it. Could you give me the short version? Yeah, that motherfucker didn't read it. He didn't read it at all. He was like, hey, new games, get into this. Sure, Daddy. The marker is located in the upper right of the screen. It is red mark shown on the map. This red marker is displayed 
on the map when there is an important object you need to <sighs> oh, sorry guys I guess I'm tired I don't know I shouldn't be where was I when there is an important object that you need to complete I get it just go in the direction of the marker points and it'll lead you to the nearest teleport gate that's useful. Yeah, it definitely come in handy when we're clearing the areas. Alright, so... Is there any other enemies around? Or am I just supposed to go there? I mean, I can. Stats. Okay, my attack is between 80 and 120. Ooh. Okay, my main is divination. Divination? Is that it? You can, like, help me out down below. I have no other characters. Do I? Did I just... Am I a girl or am I still Kirito or... You know, I like it, but like, I want to see what the other one is. Okay... Let's see... No. I like the long hair vest. Yeah, yeah, I like the long hair vest. Okay, so that's... I don't know exactly what that is, but skills. Oh. I'm actually a girl or not, but I look fucking amazing. Love long hair. All right, my dude. I'm gonna go see what's over here. Yeah, I sound like a dude. Should still be a dude. Gate. Let me explain how to use teleport gates. In Svart Alfheim, towns and other areas are often connected by these teleport gates. As you proceed through the game, you will unlock new destinations that can be reached through these teleport gates. So there are more places to see besides this meadow, meadow island. I'm looking forward to seeing what lies ahead. 
Alright then, let's use the teleport gate to hit the t Move it to the teleport gate and display the teleport menu. You can select the town from there. May I guess a minute? Yeah, let's just, just do that. Wow, look at this place. So this is what towns in Zavart Alfheim look like? And then entering a new town is so exciting. I love seeing what each one has to offer. It's fucking corny as fuck. This town all has basics in adventure needs, like inns and stores. It's even got a tavern in it. And in an arena. I thought it said area. I was about to say. I felt dumb now. <laughs> Sounds like there's a lot to do. It'll be worth checking everything out. Hold on a second, Daddy. It looks like the part of the system has been updated. Unlike in vanilla Alfheim Online, flying is no longer permitted in Task God. Why? Why? I, I don't like that. Interesting. Sounds like the system for system architecture for ALO and Savart Alfheim are totally different. Exactly. In this update, they're, they redesigned everything. A number of new dungeons and quests were added also, in, including some of the hardest yet. <laughs> well, now we don't know what he said. I don't know what happened there. Um, but I look like a girl. To be honest, I have this little thing. Um, I like to look like a girl in all of my games because, you know, it's not that I'm a feminist, but like, I don't like some of the, I don't like most of the designs for the guys. This seems like this. What is that? I don't like that. I don't like that either. Like, look at the clothes. It looks so cool. She looks like she can kick my head off, but she probably can't. Alright, I'm gonna go to this person and let's speak to her. Welcome to the item shop. Okay. This is. Okay, they have no weapons here. They, yeah, they don't have no weapons. Okay, I need... Oh, shut up.
I don't like that. Check out all of it. another weapon but I don't think I can equip it I don't know I mean like it's in the warehouse I don't know where that is Kirito hey it's Asuna and the crew glad to see you you hear walking noise and they appear. Okay, not gonna question. I knew it, you logged on earlier and started without us. Then <laughs> you cared to. You can read this, I'm just kind of messed up a little bit. Who are they saying is Asuna? まあ、それがあんたらしいっちゃあんたらしいけど。ここ数日キリトくんずっとそうそうしてたもんね。それだけ楽しみだったってことでしょ。Okay, <laughs> no. It's not Asuna's hair color. I don't like it. Oh, Kirito, you were looking as hale and healthy as ever, always, not ever. I'm so kind of, I'm so kind of upset that. Okay, now these two look right. Yeah, you my do, do right there. He doesn't really wear that, but I guess it's because it's Alpine. Dude. Quinn, a gill. I'm glad to see you too. I wasn't sure if you'd made it here on the first day. Come on, man. This is a major moment in Alfheim history. The first large scale system update. We wouldn't be able to call ourselves gamers unless we logged on. The second it went live. Still, we've got to be crazy to come back online after everything that happened to us back in SAO. As you're fucking smiling. You're not fucking blue haired. Uh, that pisses me off so much. I know what you mean. After those two years and endless nerve-wracking fighting and all. Doesn't it feel weird? All of us back together in another VR MMO? Yeah. We went through a lot together in Ankar. But we all learned a lot as well. The bonds we formed through our shared experiences, they are the reason why we stand here together once more. What's wrong, Kirito? Can't get your tongue? You look blue. No, but her hair does. Look at it. It's not supposed to be blue. She is a redhead. That's the whole reason why I liked her in the show. <sighs> no teasing, Clint. Come on, let's go. There must be tons of players already way ahead of us. We have to catch up. I know. I'm itching to get started. 
I can't wait to see the magnificent treasures are hidden here, just screaming to be found. I'm looking forward to finding the new materials myself. Now, see, she's right. I still don't know who these two are because, you know, the other two, uh, the sort of on the line, too. But still, Asuna is not supposed to have blue hair. Pisses me off. Okay. I can't wait to stock my shelves with the newest shines. Come on, Pinna. Okay, Pinna. I'm guessing that's Pinna. Or this is Pinna. I believe it was this was Pinna. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I guess I'll learn. Oh, no. Oh, man. I feel stupid now. I love that little ice dragon thing. Dude, like, it was amazing. I wanted it to be mine. Didn't give a shit about her. I wanted it to be mine. Yeah, let's do it. I have to show off my awesome skills. Leave the data analysis to me. Don't forget me already. I said already. Damn, my English is bad today. Guaranteeing hate comments down below. Or none at all because nobody watches me. Who gives a fuck? I'm ready to help too. If everyone else is wearing to kick some tail, I'm supposed to say ass. It's definitely a G rated. And so am I. Let's do this. Let's go, Kirito. Fake Asuna. Fuck you. Change your hair color. Alright. Svartaf online, say your prayers. Here we come. I'm not saying that. Well, I'm still gonna be playing, obviously. And, well, just ignore this because uh, this will probably be in the next episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and if you want to subscribe, it's all up to you. And it's been Hazel Links here. I still love my YouTube channel, even though nobody watches it. it I love uploading and just having shit out there. Recording is fun for me. Definitely not doing this for any job because, you know, I'm not making any money anyway. So yeah, like I said, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and bye.